This is the greatest selection of whiskeys that I handpicked from Jack to Jameson and Crown to Bush. I'm gonna be slamming back these whiskeys on the rocks until I can't speak English. And then I'm gonna rate them from S to F tier. S being, and F being, the question we're answering today. Is this gonna make anyone angry? Before we lift our spirits high, make sure you take a shot of that subscribe button, knock back that like button, and if you love this content, consider becoming a member today. We'll start with something wild. Buffalo Trace. Oh, baby. Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan. <laughs> Before we start, uh, we got a brand new addition to the videos. This, my friends, is a breathalyzer. Uh, this is going to tell us exactly how much we've had and uh, when I'm getting close to that danger zone. If we have this on the rum video. All right, we're at that, we're complete zero right now. And for good measure, we're gonna breathalyze the cameraman because I don't trust him. <laughs> Why? All right. What? You wait for this countdown and you're, no. you can't even follow <laughs> simple instructions. Blow. Stop. You're 0.13 already. <laughs> Big sniff test. Oh, that's sweet. I like that. All right, so we're gonna grab a scoop of ice. We're gonna be a real whiskey teaster because I'm not offending anyone. All right, look, I don't know how to mix. Diboja. Ooh, ooh, it's kind of like, it's like nutty in a way. That's kind of unique. Wow, I, you know, bourbon really hits very well. I like this a lot, god dang. Put, put this one on the, uh, put it on the A tier. I think it's one that I would definitely buy again. I like it a lot. How much are you still, are you still drinking? Am I still drinking? Yeah, are you still having like a shot of it every time? Uh, a shot of it every time? Aren't you getting as drunk as me for the funniness of the video? Dude, that, that's hard. You can't drive. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. You're gonna pour the cameraman one. Whole thing, chug it. I'm just tasting it, it's really good. To test the validity of this thing, I'm gonna blow again. This is a couple uh, minutes after we just had that shot. 0 0.08, I can't drive. Never intended to, but that's how you know how accurate this thing is. It's like it knew. <laughs> Look, it's a little beer cactus. This one blew my mind. This is White Owl. Check it out. <laughs> This whiskey is uh, completely white. It's an Alberta, Canada whiskey. So that's kind of cool. A little sniffy poo. That doesn't smell like anything. Whiskey with peat moss. I know a lot about peat moss now, thanks to my dad and grass. Shout out to Greg Doka. Happy birthday, buddy. It's been a while since he birthed. Ah, uh, hey, Diboja. Whoa, that hits way different. Whoa! I just made me drool everywhere. It's like diet whiskey. Whoa. No whiskey burn at the beginning, but you get a hell of a lot of whiskey flavor at the end. I'll put it like at, I'll put it at the C tier. I'm not sold on it. I just, I don't, I wouldn't, like if you gave me car keys, I'd probably respectfully give them back to you. <laughs> All right, let's boost it up and be like the king of Denmark with the Crown Royal Reserve. Canadian whiskey. It's a rye whiskey, if I'm not mistaken. What makes this one different? Canadian whiskey, Canadian. Is it a rye whiskey? Is it a rye whiskey? It's a rye whiskey. Rye whiskey. Is it a rye, is it a rye whiskey? Rye and doka. Rye and coke. Crayon. 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 We're gonna find out really quickly that I think I think whiskey like irks me more than anything else. We've gone through the gamut. If you've been here since all the rest of the videos, uh, you'll know that a lot of different liquors make me do a lot of different things. I don't know. I think this is just making me a little bit like a uh, little, 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 uh, just a little sexy. sexier. Definitely feeling sexier. Do you think so? Like I thought we got to dismantle the monarchy. More fruity. Kind of smoky, but smoky and fruity. I can't tell if that's the woodiness of the things. Uh, I once knew a rich kid whose dad loved Crown Royal. Uh, shout out to Conrad. Crown Royal, Diboja. 
Oh, very silky smooth. Go oh, all the way through. Put it on the S tier. Crown Royale Reserve, next level. It, it just, the way that I think it works for me is that you get like that, that woodiness is just subtle, but it kind of goes into more of like a fruitiness. I don't know what that fruit is. Maybe it's apples, probably not. <laughs> But it's just, it's smooth all the way through. I think it's probably because of the ice. Now, I know a lot of people were like, Ryan, you should have done these uh, shots as is. Uh, no, that's not the way that I do it, okay? Uh, I play by the rules. Uh, now, I might be drinking them out of a glass. This is why the videos are always an hour. Stop me. Crown Royal Reserve is kind of just like, it's woody and it just kind of gets to that tip of that tongue very well, but it's smooth all the way through. Don't know what fruit's in there, but it's hella good. But are you ready for it? Here's something crazy. You may, you may be thinking like, Ryan, my favorite's not here. That's because there's way too many whiskeys and way too many variations. There's Irish, there's rye, there's bourbon. Uh, stay tuned, there's gonna be a, uh, a whiskey too. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of different tiers coming up. So if it's not here, it'll be in the next one. Just let me know in the comment section what one you wanna see in the next video and we'll make it happen. S tier. You've heard of Crown Royal, but have you heard of Crown Royal? One time only, if I can throw this and it, uh, flip it and it lands like that, you have to subscribe. Let's see if it's any better than the uh, Crown Royal Reserve. Oh, that's way more than one shot. 50 mil, one ounce. Hey Siri, how many uh, milliliters, if there's 50 of them, into one ounce? <laughs> how many... One ounce in 50. <laughs> How many milliliters? You know what's funny? I have two of these, so you get to have one. I'm not I'm having that. that. You have to, yeah. It's so it. gross. I, I love Crown Royal, dude. You want to see an S tier? I'm... You want to see an S tier right now? You want to see one? Diboja. Oh, God. Put it on the yeah. <laughs> You know what? And now that I've tasted this, put, put reserve down. Put, put reserve to E. And put this one down to F. This is like god awful. Like, I know a guy. I know a guy who likes this, and that's that's the problem. I can't finish this, but my cameraman does need to validate that everything it tastes the way that it tastes. Go go ahead. Let's go something really crazy. Uh, you may have heard of it. It's Crown Royal, baby. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Man, we should breathalyze the bottle. Wasted, bro. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get that ledge. What Ferd Reserve? This came up on my Google search of what the top 10 uh, whiskeys would be in America, and you wouldn't believe it, this one clocked in a absolute fourth place. Big sniffy. Oh, f I don't know. I'll be honest with you, I don't, I'm not a big fan of whiskey. Should've put that at the beginning as a disclaimer. Wow, that's gonna put a lot of chair on your chest. <laughs> Manscaped. Manscaped.com is a global men's lifestyle brand that has all the right tools for all of the dads this year. Do you got hair? Of course you do. Do you want to be happy? Of course you do. Then it's time to whip out the beard hedger trimmer. This puppy's got a 7,200 RPM motor and a titanium coated T-blade that can cut through three weeks of unkemptness. Just look at how sleek it is. That's pretty sleek. It's the perfect Father's Day gift for any dads who love technology, new gadgets, or want a great trim. Do you want to make your dad happy? Of course you do! This trimmer also has a built-in rotary wheel that features 20 different hair cutting lengths. Which means we can finally throw away these extra guard attachments we've had since 2015. And because it's waterproof and cordless, your dad can use it in the shower or the sink with virtually no messy cleanup. So make dad happy and rip on over to manscaped.com today and get 20% off plus free international shipping when you use promo code DOKA at checkout. That's 20% off plus free international shipping when you use promo code DOKA at manscaped.com. Now back to the video. And we're back. I need to, oh. Make a guess in the comment section, what do you think my final breathalyzer test will read? All right. Whoop! Diboja. 
it brings me back to like a weird teenager years where like I would drink nothing but Canadian Club. Put on the D tier. Woodford Reserve doesn't really deserve to be up here. Not a bit, not a big boy on that kind of taste. I'll be honest with you. Doesn't bring me to a happy place. Brings me to a place of regret and uh, sin. One for me, one for the cameraman. <laughs> I can make a, I can make a zero. <laughs> Do you like rich people stuff? Cause we got it. Look at this. Woo! I don't know what that <laughs> This is the most expensive bottle we got. Ooh, it smells like new tires. Thank God the last video we did uh, yesterday was the water video. So if you don't haven't seen that one yet, make sure you There it is the I button click that that's how you get to see the video that was up that we did the other day with the water Diboja I don't know if I like whiskey a lot. You're tasting the wood from the barrel. There's nothing more woody than this. I like I've I've eaten a branch less woody than this. Put this one at the A tier. Definitely can see this one catching on with the folks at home. I think the whiskey's uh whiskey makes me sick. You were down there. When did you get up there? S tier. How much would I bet I can bounce this? I can bounce this out of the bottle. Familiarity territory. Jack Daniels. I'm not gonna let the Jack Daniels of my youth dictate the future of my Jack Daniels territory uh, and how I think of it. I drank the entire 750 ml bottle. Uh, of Jack Daniels Honey Jack. I think it was 30%, 35%. And I literally threw up. I had to work a paintball the next day, my other job, and I had to deal with kids doing laser tag, which was the most annoying thing ever. There's wood ticks. I'm not gonna let that sway what I think of Jack Danny. Dude, my leg is so itchy. Well, don't scratch it, because I'm work. Man, I already know I don't like Jack. I'm just doing this for the view, man. Oh man, I don't know if I can do it. I Oh, you shouldn't buy it. You shouldn't buy it at all. I've never met anybody who drinks Jack Daniels as their primary drink who's like a, a, a sane person. Uh, anybody who drinks Jack Daniels and likes Jack Daniels uh, belongs on a watch list. Put on the F2. This is so bad. I'm being honest, again, I know I've had some troubles and some trials and tribulations with Jack Daniels, but this is bad. This is Jack Daniels bad. This is jacked up. Say it. <laughs> I, I do not want Jack Daniels. Can't forget the cameraman. I am if you love the UFC, you love Dana White, and if you love Dana White, you love his Howler Head bourbon whiskey. <laughs> monkey spirit. All right guys, I want you to rate my Doka Ryan filming of this monkey on the Howler head bottle. Uh, if you give it a six out of 10, I will delete you. Big sniffy. I love banana. Oh my God, Howler head. Diboja. Yeah. S tier. Wow. I'll be honest with you. I I'm not buying anything else other than this. This is the most like this is a this has to be this has to be banana flavored though because I like I know I wanted to do like a non flavored one. This is so good, Dylan. Get get over here. Uh, you're not gonna be mad at me when I do this. Dude, I might be. <laughs> oh, I might be. You won't be. <laughs> chug it. Trust me. Chug it. Trust me. How mad? How mad? Cameraman, man, I can't talk. You gotta be quiet. 
Get a film. S tier, best thing I've had the entire night. I will keep this and it will be my favorite thing of all time. Wow. You know what? I, I'm invigorated now. This brought new life into this entire video. You can't lie though. Best thing ever. Pretty good. Wow, you know what time it is? Oh, stop it. No, no, no. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm gonna make a guess. 0 0.13. I don't think it's low. I don't think it's. I don't think it's accurate. <laughs> this should be at a one. Take it back. At a one, easily should be at a one. You're dead if you're at a one. Hey Siri, what's the mm -hmm. what's the least <laughs> safest? What's the highest blood alcohol level you can be at before you die? Oh, Dylan! Dylan! Dylan, hold on, it's very accurate! It's so f***ing accurate! Dude, point, point four percent are over! It's dangerous! At this level, there's a risk of coma or death! If your BAC is between point zero eight and 4, you're likely to have impaired symptoms like confusion, drowsiness, or nausea. I felt like I'm about to f***ing diarrhea sh** this entire video! We're gonna be fine. Let's keep it up. A couple more. <laughs> what was I at at rum? I yeah. have to be at a two. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is now just a safety precaution. <laughs> bushy, bushy. Look who's bushy. Uh, I bought this version because it came with a free cocktail kit. Again, if you're a Doka Ryan member, you're gonna see me make this cocktail with this video. So make sure you hit that join button. Do I want to smell this one? Very light, not bad. This is not their original. This is their Black Bush, by the way. Check it out. Eyes closed. Dimoja. I wish it was Hollerhead. I really wish it had the banana flavor that I really dream and yearn for. E tier. It's just, it's so gritty. It tastes like it came straight out of like a, a tree. It's not good. Like, and not even the good kind of tree. Like it tastes like a, like a pine tree. Like with the ones that you don't want to touch because it's prickly and they hurt you. And the bottle has butt cheeks on it. I don't know if you can tell. A little boom, boom, boom. It's got butt cheeks on it. it tastes like <laughs> too. You want a piece of this? <laughs> like I'm giving you half of mine. You're, okay, it's more than half, but it's fine. No, I was at 0.5. Do you see the little ticks in there? No, I don't. Yeah. Because okay, so you're above it. Oh, there's a tick in there. It's 0.11 tick. Yeah, you were up there. That's not me. No, I wasn't. You're just stupid. <laughs> there's one saving grace here. The beautiful, illustrious, and chilled Suntory Whiskey. Also, it's not your conventional Centauri whiskey. This is your Centauri World whiskey. Uh, a little bit more money. It's it's got like all of the flavors of the world in a whiskey. Irish, Scotch, American, Canadian, and Japanese whiskeys. I'll be honest with you. I don't know any other countries that have whiskeys, but if they aren't here, it's not in it. Good enough for me. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate whiskey. Dude, I don't know. I hate whiskey. The way that it just like <laughs> Honesty? Dimoja. I'm gonna puke. Dimoja. Put on the D tier. It tastes like if you leave beef jerky in your car for too long. It has like a weird like it stings the back of like the throat right here. And the way that it like, it, it, it doesn't have a woodiness that I, I'm really looking for. Like it, it, it definitely could have been a B if it didn't have like a weird like <gasps> feeling to it. To put it in perspective, there's been a lot of whiskeys that I've liked today, but this is not one of them. This is the first Suntory D. Suntory's done a lot of great things in life. Not good. This is my favorite one. Oh my god! Oh wow! Look at me! I love tasting poop water. Uh, yeah, yes, Miss. Is there diarrhea in this? Oh, thank you so much. There's diarrhea in this. That's why I love it so much. That's what you sound like right now. <laughs> <laughs> thank god. That means we can do a lot more. A little bit more of that. <laughs> 
I'm not even kidding. Like, I'm not trying to be a dick. This is a very good whiskey. I don't like whiskey. I I hate whiskey with a passion, I guess. All right, we got the final two here. We got Bush and we got Jameson. Oh! I've had comments. I've had people come up to me in supermarkets. Stop coming up to me. They've said Stout Jameson is the best Jameson of all time. This is how I know you're not a liar. No, go, go, go. If it's good, go. It's good. If it's bad, it's bad. Go. Oh. Go. Oh God. You know what? How, you know how I said whiskey too. If your favorite's not here, this video's gotta get a lot. <laughs> A lot, a lot of likes to get to that point. Cause honestly, this is so bad. Oh. Oh. It's cost $750, this video. Plus whatever you, whatever you cost. <laughs> if you're like a, I'm not a professional. If, I, if you're like a, I'm not, if you're like a, I'm not a professional drinker, I'm the man for the person. Like, I'm exactly who you want in your corner. This is not what you, like, this is so accurate, man. Oh. Diboja. Okay, I'll put it, I'll put it at this level. It's not bad. It's, uh, you can definitely taste the stout. You can taste it, it's definitely been in a beer can for a while. One of the better ones. Jameson Stout, I'm gonna put higher up on the list just based solely off of the fact that it's actually pretty good. I think I'm, I'm I, like, but I hate it, but like, I hate the fact, I hate the fact that I'm just sick of whiskey by this point. Put it on the A tier. Uh, Jameson belongs, uh, Jameson Stout is there. It doesn't taste like the other ones. It's not terrible, not, it's better. It's something I could see myself drinking a little bit more of. Or better yet. My cameraman. Huh? up. <laughs> We're almost done. My eyes. Not bad. That's unique. Yeah, it's, it's heavier, is. it's heavier. All right, final contestant. To la moradula, to la moradula. Watch this be my favorite. Oh my god! I don't want to smell it because I know it's gonna smell like every other whiskey that we that we've had on this table. But I'll do it, dude. This smells so bad. Like for safety reasons, I'm gonna do a half shot. Diboja, I guess. All right, let's see. Again, I'm not a big whiskey guy. Like I'm realizing this like so much later in the game. All right, we're at the f we're at the final uh, breathalyzer countdown. Let's see where we end off on the Doak Ryan whiskey tier list. Point one four. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. It's pretty big. But now, again, because I think it's very interesting to find out how much the cameraman's been drinking today. You're drunk. You can't even think. <laughs> hey, that's the end of the video. Um, somehow my cameraman drank more than me. Um, I don't like whiskey. Whiskey is absolutely terrible. I'm not gonna probably buy any more again, but obviously the clear winner uh, of today is the Howlerhead uh, whiskey bourbon. The Kentucky whiskey bourbon from Howlerhead is number one. The video you see right up here, that's a video that YouTube recommended for you. Down here is the video that I picked solely for you. Let me know which one's better. Right up here is a face that you recognize. It's the Doka Ryan channel. Smash that, hit the subscribe button, and of course, hit the notification button so you get notified when new videos come out. Um, that's about it. Thank you so much. Howlerhead every day, everything else. Go <laughs>